traditional irrigation involves using a needle to inject chemicals into the canal system via positive pressure. However, in 1983, Chow proved that virtually no irrigants move ahead of the needle tip in a closed canal system. This results in debris and bacteria being left behind in the apical gas pocket created during instrumentation from the hydrolysis of intercanal organic material and sodium hypochlorite. Some clinicians believe this apical gas pocket can be broken or popped with an endodontic instrument, but this defies the laws of physics as the instrument just passes through the apical gas bubble, failing to disrupt the surface tension that creates the apical gas bubble. When too much positive pressure is used, the irrigant can enter the periapical vasculature, causing an irrigation accident, and depending on the amount and type of irrigant, the clinical result can be severe. However, both the problems just described can be eliminated by using a vacuum pressure directly at the apex if a microcannula is placed to full working length and its tip contains an array of micro holes located between 0.2 to 0.7 millimeters of the tip. When vacuum pressure is applied to the microcannula, as irrigant is applied to the pulp chamber, it will be drawn down the canal to full working length into the micro holes and safely away from the delicate periapical tissue. The secondary purpose of the micro holes is to prevent the lumen of the microcannula from being clogged. The micro holes act as a filter. The problem with microcannula and its array of 12 micro holes is that debris from all parts of the root canal system can be drawn into the micro holes, quickly clogging the system. In order to avoid clogging the microcannula, a macro cannula is used deep into the canal in an up and down motion while copious quantities of sodium hypochlorite are delivered. By the end of 20 seconds, the walls above the tip of the micro cannula will be almost completely free of debris from this flushing, churning virtual hurricane of irrigant exchange. It's almost like pressure washing the canal walls. Now the micro cannula can be used to clean the apical few millimeters of the debris left behind from the macro cannula. Please note that as sodium hypochlorite starts to dissolve the last of the intercanal organic debris, gas bubbles start to form on the canal walls, and although most are sucked into the micro holes, some stay on the walls. By lifting the micro cannula two millimeters every six seconds, then replacing it back to the apex, these bubbles will be sucked away along with the debris in the apical last two millimeters. After 30 seconds, the micro cannula is removed, leaving fresh sodium hypochlorite in place for 60 more seconds. The workhorse of the Endovac system is the master delivery tip. It serves two functions. First, it delivers the irrigant into the pulp chamber through the access opening. Second, once the irrigant fills the pulp chamber brim full, it's automatically sucked away by the clear plastic hood surrounding the delivery needle. This level control hood is hooked to the office high vac. 